Want to make your video look pro without spending cash? I'm Tess and this is The Secret. Know your tools and how to misuse them. If you know your camera, frame good shots and know some tricks, your good ideas can come up looking great. Love your camera. Cameras come in all shapes and sizes. Some you have or borrow. Some you steal from a pro's van that take a lot of knowledge to operate. Or some like this. That has autofocus, iris, white balance and sound levels. If you have a big camera and you're into knobs, here's what they do. The iris controls light and dark and that can create different moods. White balance tells the machine what colour white is, and that can create different effects. And don't forget to check your sound levels every time you change shots. If that's too techno, it doesn't matter. Most cameras do it for you, so all you need are these, record and zoom. So let's shoot. Frame your shots. Great pictures make great movies, and different frames have different feelings. A fire shot tells us where we are and puts people in a place. Wide shots show a person and their body. Mid shots make us focus on their face. Close shots make us focus on emotion. And if you get super close, you can hide identity, focus on detail, or get arty. Interviews mostly use this shot, so we can focus on what's being said. Allow for TV safe area. And leave room for titles. But, because your video will be shown online, you can break the rules, so long as you get a good effect. Love your tripod. Most professional camera operators would say that their tripod is their best friend, because it makes sure that you have a clean and clear shot and the viewer can focus on what's important. You can use pretty much anything to get the shot you want. Skateboard. Making your camera move creates action, suspense, travel. John Safran tied his camera to a dog and his video got on rage, so really, don't hold back. You chuck away the tripod, you get unsteady, or panicked, or even the classic, there's someone watching me. Let's get talking. Ready, test two? Yep. Do you like ice cream? Yes. Good. Always ask questions that need more than a yes or no answer. What's your favourite flavour of ice cream? I love ice cream, mm -hmm. but my favourite flavour would have to be mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. double mm -hmm. chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Did you see what I did wrong there? Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm. You really need to make sure that you nod and use your body language to show that you are listening, rather than talk over the interview, because that makes it hard to edit later. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it's weird. So you've finished filming and have a stack of clips ready to edit. Now what? No matter how groovy you want the video to be, this bit works best the more organised you are. Say I have the bits where people are talking about pizza here and all the bits where people are talking about ice cream here. I first put them in their topics and then I cut the bad bits and then I shuffle the good bits and gradually a story forms. Sometimes your different topics can seamlessly match up. This is the perfect lead in to start using all the clips about ice cream. If you don't have a good linking shot, you can use headings to introduce each topic, or you can use voiceovers to tell us and show us at the same time. 
Be ruthless when you cut. Lots of cuts has energy, but long takes allow more depth. These techniques help you tell your story as powerfully as you can for your audience. So if you think, what will make them understand, really understand what it feels like, then the right shot, frame, question and action should suggest itself. Using these techniques will help you make a good video, but your taste and playfulness will make a great film. I mean, if he can get a clip on Rage, you can get a clip on Tino.